Good morning, I'm Ralph Rinsler from the Smithsonian Institution, where I've spent 25 years thinking about a project like this one. The project we're working on, just as a quick word of introduction, is a combination, combined effort, of homespun tapes, whom I think many of you have come to know through the Merle Watson Memorial Festival. They're represented here, Happy and Artie and Jane Traum. They've been doing this for 25 years. Uh, making it possible for people like us to learn from people we may never get to meet uh, unless we're very lucky. And the Smithsonian, which has a reputation for documenting what's important about our history and our present so that the future can learn from it. The nice thing about this project is that it's not an archival project alone. It's true what we're doing here this morning will be saved if we can keep our world running in good balance uh, as long as that world is running. And those tapes will be there as long as the technology permits it so that your children and grandchildren and right on down the line will be able to learn from them. So this is an exercise in keeping something going that Doc has kept going and Jack keeps going and a lot of people that you know keep going. And that's about as important a thing you can do for the people of this world, I think. I just thank heavens for people like Doc Watson. When I first heard this tune, Pete, it was done by uh, Alton and Raven Delmore, and there were two guitars, a tenor, uh, a little four-string, and the regular flat top. And I never could get my guitar to sound both like both of theirs did. It wouldn't do it. <laughs> then I began to hear uh, Brother Merle Travis, the late Merle Travis, on the radio, and I thought, now, wait a minute. If I can steal me a lick off of Brother Travis, maybe I can learn Deep River Blues. The first part of the... Uh, the Travis style I learned was this little thumb rhythm. And the way you do that, you mute about the first three or four strings on the guitar with the edge of the back edge of your palm, the ball of your hand here, yeah. just to where they come off the saddle. And, and that little chord right there is the little E. Now in that rhythm, you jump the fifth string. I'm, I'm lazy. I never figured out a way to bar that and get that that fifth in there. You know? I think a lot of people do. That. Yeah, you jump the fifth string on that rhythm. Uh, then, after about ten years practice, I began to learn the lead line. Right. <laughs> See, I, I just play <clears throat> with one finger and a thumb. I don't use the the sensible <laughs> three finger method that you should use on on finger style guitar. diminished chord. Uh, then when you put that with the rhythm, it sounds like this. You bend the note. Um, I thought I had accomplished uh, something that had never been done before when I learned that tune. <laughs> Just like a waterfowl when I get them deep, the river blue, bless her little heart, ain't no one to cry for me, fish go out on a spree when I get them deep. Give me back my old boat I'm gonna 
sailboys if she'll float Yes, I got them deep river blues Gonna run down to Muscle Shoals Time's getting better down there I told boys I got them deep river blues Big waves make a wall Cause I got them deep river blue 